Hi guys, welcome to Read by Third. My name's Paige and we are going to be reading a book together today. So let's go. Okay, so today we're gonna to be reading Gobi's Noisy Best Friend. Gobi and Snap lived deep down in the blue ocean. They were best friends but they looked so different from each other. Gobi was a fish with seven fins and no legs. He had very powerful eyes. Snap was a pistol shrimp with many legs. She had big noisy claws, but she could not see very well. Click, click, clickety clack it. Oh, oh, what a racket. The noise from Snap's claws scared away many animals in the ocean. Snap's eyes were weak, so she often got lost in the dark ocean. Click, click, clickety clack it. Oh, oh, what a racket. Don't worry, her best friend Gobi was always nearby to take her home. Snap shared her cozy burrow with burrow home with Gobi. She clawed away any sand that fell into the burrow. Click, click, clickety clack it. Oh, oh, what a racket. Their home was always clean and tidy. One day, Gobi went for a swim on his own. Ah, no more loud clickety clacks, he said. Do I really need such a noisy best friend, he wondered. Suddenly, Gobi spotted two bright eyes in front of him. It was a big, hungry sea bass fish. Time for a goby fish sandwich, said the sea bass. It swam closer. Goby closed his eyes, shivering with fright. Click, click, clickety clack it. Oh, oh, what a racket. What is that terrible noise, asked the sea bass. It was snap. Click, click, clickety clack it. Oh, oh, what a racket. It was too loud for the sea bass. It swam far, far away. Phew, Gogi hug snapped. What would he do without his noisy best friend? Spot the pairs. Friends stick together and are always ready to help each other. The goby fish and the pistol shrimp are famous best friends of the ocean. Can you spot the other pairs of friends from this group of animals? So number one is the cattle egret, which is right here. Number two is the bees. This is the bees. Number three is the cow. This is the cow. Number four is the hermit crab. Hermit crab's right here. Number five is the spotted deer, which is right here. Number six is the langur, which is right here. Number seven is the snail, right here. And number eight, the stork, which is right here. Meet these friends, storks and bees. The stork uses its sharp beak to cut up the dead animals it eats. Sometimes, bees come along and use the dead meat as a home for their eggs. Cattle egrets and cows. When a cow walks in the field, bugs on the grass fly up in the air. Cattle egrets follow the cow and eat the bugs. Hermit crabs and snails. Hermit crabs live in snail shells that the snails have left behind. Spotted deer and langur monkeys. When spotted deer sense danger, they stamped their hoods to warn the langur monkeys. The langur monkeys scrambled to safety high up in the treetops. In turn, the langur monkeys drop leaves that are food for the spotted deer. Thanks for reading with me. We'll see you next time.